Vibes, you already know who it is. It's the one and only homie chef, aka Wings912 on IG. That's W I N G Z Z912 on Instagram. You looking at me? It's an Almighty Shoe Review. Gotta give a shout out to them boys in Boston. You know what I mean? Trap exclusive. Holding down by Mick. You know what I mean? What's up, my dude? As you can see, we do a lot of good things, including early pairs. And if you're interested in learning how to get the shoes the way that I do, including you know what i mean knowing where to go how to get in the raffles you know what i'm saying if you need all that info and you just want that one-stop shop go in the description and hit the link to join the discord i promise you you make your money back if you're a reseller and it makes it a whole lot easier if you're just a collector you know what i mean so tap in and get involved you know what i'm saying i definitely want to appreciate thank everybody for all the thumbs up the notifications the comments man all the love and support numbers looking good getting right back and i'm making sure i keep up with the content so once again i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all so appreciate it. last but not least shout out to the home team the breakfast club you already know how we do you know how we rock drew um you know what i mean squeeze sid everybody you know what i mean we always chopping it up we always talking we always showing love spreading love links everything info whatever however you know what i mean we, we a family you know what i mean so shout out to y'all you know what i mean? appreciate that support and that help because i know i'll be getting it you know what i'm saying but um today we are going to review a shoe and i feel like this silhouette is kind of making a comeback and a lot of people last couple years have been playing it out it was one of the hypest premier silhouettes that nike did you know what i mean as far as nike lines it was one of the hypest back in the day kind of fell off and now I see they're trying to revamp it and we got a pair in hand so I'm not gonna waste our time let's get into the box first oh my bad went to the wrong direction <laughs> bow bow yeah colors read white metallic silver black and I bring to y'all the air foam positive ones oh. Still record penny. Woo. Now that we got him in hand, let's get into him. classic and signature shoe collections that Nike has produced back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Late 90s, 2000s, you know what I'm saying? This was the shoe, man, I'm sorry, you know what I mean? But everybody loved these. Let's go ahead and look at this shoe and get into the makeup of it, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, the full upper is foam posit and it's that all white foam posit. It looks really, really good, you know what I mean? Real solid, real clean, you know, white is just a clean color, you know what I mean? You can't even get mad at that. It looks real, real good. Outlining the foam posit, we have this textured leather that goes around the eyelids down to the toe box and also encompasses the heel that has that penny sign. I do like this as it's just a clean black and white effect. It has the embroidered check down by the toe and it looks real, real good. I'm not even mad at that, you know what I'm saying? The tongue of the shoe is completely mesh and it has some of that same textured leather stitched there with a nice embroidered line going up to the penny logo that is embossed in this hard casing. And they also have this black and white pull tab on the tongue, and that's real cool and real sweet. I like that. As you can see, that heel has the same mesh from the tongue that fits inside the sock liner, and it also has a pull tab, and then under that you see that textured leather with the penny logo right on top of that white foam posit and it just looks really clean i like that sock liner has a satin finish looks real good and it's black then we have the all blue insole with the white writing that's pretty dope this shoe has no midsole but it has the carbon fiber sitting properly and it looks really good and it has that black on black but it feel nice shiny and it matches right with the pump with the finish of the foam posit when we come to the sole it is blessed with that zoom air technology from back in the day and it is a white translucent sole in a sense. Very cool, very clean. I like it a lot. It has the black grip to sit up there and offset with the carbon fiber also as well. And then as you can see, 
it has that penny penny logo sitting right there at the heel so yeah i really do like this shoe i like the way it's set up i like the way it looks it's very clean in execution not a lot of wildness really goes right back to the essence of what the phone posit was which was just one solid color you know what i'm saying it was originally for anthony hardaway or penny hardaway as a lot of people know that's why that has a one cent logo and he rocking these and everybody wanted these everybody wanted phones everybody hooped in phones Plus, it was like an indestructible shoe, and Nike had a guarantee that if you did something to them, they would take them back and give you another pair, give you a refund. So yeah, these are really winning and really, really working. Plus, with this being the summer, this is the clean, clean shoe. Uh, I expected this back in February, around All-Star time. A lot of talk around that time, a lot of things coming, didn't really hear much. And then they just released two pairs of uh, two pairs of phone pauses back to back and throughout a mama year. And then they had another pair the same way with the like kind of like swooshes and, and strokes, but it was in black. And they dropped on March 31st, if I'm not mistaken. It was a very clean shoe, but you know a lot of people were over the extras and just wanted something back with the simple or the simplicity of the silhouettes from back in the day. And this was one of the first ones that Nike dropped, you know. So uh, let me give y'all one more look at it because you know it's still a little bit more to talk about, but let's go ahead and get this, this rating out of the way. <laughs> and I can't front. These ran kind of fast. Sold out on sneakers and shout out to my Nike account because that's where these came from. Alright. Now when it comes to the chefs. I, I, I'm, I'm between an eight and a nine. I know a lot of people don't like the silhouette, but I do. But this is just a really clean shoe. Even with the white translucent sole, I still like this shoe. I know that sole will get change colors fast, but you know, I got somebody that cleans the soles and helps out. You know what I mean with my soul, so I ain't worried about that. But yeah, I can give these a, I can give these an eight. I'll give these an eight, you know what I'm saying? They're clean and they're doing, you know, they're phones, they're pennies, you know what I mean? You can't knock these, you know what I'm saying? So. Ocho is the number, you know what I mean? Get in the comments and let me know what would you rate these? How do you feel about these? I know a lot of phone positive heads are definitely, you know what I mean, going ahead and giving these a 10 and they're very happy about these. Now, the one thing I do notice is Nike is making a push. The first color is white. The next color that they have coming out is that fire red and that fire red has like a finish on it that looks really, really clean and looks really, really good. I know a lot of people are waiting on them. Shout out to my man, Sid. Nike is, they're bringing the phones back. I just hope they don't beat them to death, run them into the ground doing crazy colorways. Hopefully they might bring back some retros. And there's one particular retro that I'm speaking of that really broke, was the beginning of the sneakers at breaking and like getting ran down on, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to say the name, I'll just show the picture. Yeah, yeah. Those are the ones. So maybe Nike might bring them back. I don't know, you know what I mean? Keeping my fingers crossed. But how do y'all, like, let me know. How do y'all feel about Nike bringing back the phones and just, you know what I mean, trying to revive the line? Like, y'all believe in it? Y'all think it's going to be good? Or do you think it's too far gone? Is, you know what I mean, Hypebeast culture killed it? Like, get in the comments. Let me know. I appreciate y'all tapping in. I got plenty of content for you. Plenty of, plenty of, plenty of, plenty of content, as you can see. Got a pair that I need to go ahead and I'm gonna do a review on. And this is early, these drop later on next week. But they're a shoe that I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in. And it ties into the last episode about buying your dunks from Sneakers app rather than the Nike app. And if you haven't checked that episode, I suggest you go back and check that episode out. It's really important. Because I think I'm on to something with the details and I'll be damned. This is falling right in line. And I'll be damned. This is falling right in line with that. So make sure you tap in, man. I appreciate y'all being out here. Make sure you love your loved ones, you know what I mean? Keep them close, take care of them, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, family's all we got, so let's show love, you know what I mean, and get love, because that's the best way, you know what I mean? And by any means, keep them sneakers clean. This is not a game. You already know we ain't playing. It's summertime, man. Kicks going crazy. So many shoes coming out this month. Lucky green ones, all kinds. So if I catch you lacking, we snatching. Coming out there for you. Be easy. Bye.